Buying an uplift desk is one of the best decisions you can make if you're looking to improve your productivity, health, ergonomic posture, and overall work experience. Today, Freeberg is putting together an uplift V2 standing desk to show you just how easy it is to set up. First, make sure to unpack everything and lay all the frame parts out in your work area. We recommend assembling the desk on a blanket, rug, or carpeted area to prevent scratching anything. Place one of the crossbar ends upside down. Insert one of the legs in the open area of the crossbar end so that the back of the leg and the back of the crossbar end are flush. Using the included 4mm Allen wrench, begin inserting four of the H1 machine screws through the crossbar end and into the leg, but only rotate each screw a few times to avoid misalignment or cross-threading. If a screw falls out of the Allen wrench, tip the crossbar end so the screw will slide out. Once all four screws have been started, go back and tighten them all the way. Now follow that same procedure for the second leg and crossbar end. Next, grab a side bracket and slide the side bracket tabs into one of the crossbar ends. Secure it by using two of the H1 machine screws. Reminder, only rotate each screw by hand for only a few turns to get them both started. Once both screws are started, tighten them all the way using the 4mm Allen wrench. Now repeat these steps with the second leg. Take the crossbar rails and orient them so that the center indicator marks are facing up and the slots are facing towards each other. Now slide the crossbar rails into the open slots of one of the crossbar ends. The next step is aligning the first leg of your frame onto your desktop. Carefully lift the completed leg assembly and place it on your desktop while lining up the screw holes in the desktop, side bracket, and crossbar end. The front of the desk will have pre-drilled holes for your keypad. The long end of the side brackets will need to face the front edge of your desktop. Before attaching your frame to the desktop, you'll want to check to see which screw you'll be using. If your desktop has threaded screw inserts installed, use the included H4B machine screws and H5 washers. For all other desktops, use the included H4A wood screws and H5 washers. For this demonstration, we'll be using the H4B machine screws since most uplift desk desktops include pre-installed threaded inserts. Place a washer on each screw. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosely start the three screws in the side bracket and the one screw in the crossbar end. Do not tighten them all the way. Take the second leg assembly and gently slide it onto the crossbar rails and loosely start the four screws for this leg. Now that all eight screws have been started, you can firmly tighten them. They should be snug without using much force. If you over tighten them, you can strip the screw hole out. Slide each crossbar rail until the center indicator marks are approximately centered between the ends of both crossbar ends. Insert the H3 set screws into the threaded holes in the crossbar ends. Tighten each set screw snugly using the included 4mm Allen wrench. Choose which side of the desktop you'd like your keypad to be on. Once the holes in the keypad are aligned with the pre-drilled holes, hand fasten with two of the H14 5 8 inch wood screws. Be careful not to use the H4A 3 quarter inch wood screws as they are too long. Freeberg is right-handed, so he's installing the keypad on the right side, which upside down looks like the left side. Both sides come pre-drilled with holes to accommodate different keypad types. Now to connect the brains. Plug the power cable into the power socket on the control box marked AC. Slide the tabs of the control box to interlock with the slots in the crossbar end. You should feel it stop. Plug the keypad into the control box port labeled HS. Now plug the leg closest to the control box directly into the white port marked M2. Finally, plug the farther leg into the leg cable and then plug the other end of the leg cable into the white port marked M1, located on the top of the control box. Since your desk is upside down right now, it's a good time to install any wire management or other accessories that attach to the bottom of your desk. Wrangle your cables with the included wire management tray and cable mounts, which stick better directly on the metal frame components instead of the desktop. When placing your wire management tray, consider how you use your desk and where you'll place corded equipment. Make sure to attach the tray using the number 10 5 8 inch H14 wood screws and not the number 10 3 4 inch H4A wood screws. If you are building a C-frame style desk, you will need to make sure the long end of the feet are facing the same way as the long end of the side brackets towards the front of your desk. 
Position the foot onto the end of the leg, aligning the holes in the foot with the holes in the leg. Attach the foot by loosely starting four of the H2 machine screws. Once all four screws are in place, firmly tighten them all the way using the 4mm Allen wrench. Repeat this step for the second foot. If you purchase casters, replace the leveling studs with the casters. Do not skip this next step. Double check that all screws on the desk are tight. This bears repeating since it's important and easier to do this with the desk upside down. Double check that all screws on the desk are tight. With a friend's help, carefully flip the desk over while supporting both the frame and desktop. If your desk is not level, you can adjust the leveling studs or casters as needed. Plug your desk into a 120 volt power source. Press and hold the down button for 10 seconds, then release the button. Press and hold the down button again, the desk will lower a little, then rise a little, and then stop. Then release the button again. It's very important to perform these reset steps. So if you just skipped it, please don't. If you have an advanced keypad, just raise your desk to your optimal standing height and save it by pressing M, followed by the number you wish to save it to. When you're done, follow the same procedure for your sitting height. You can save up to four preset desk heights. Congratulations! Your desk is ready to use. Pretty neat, huh? If you have any questions about your uplift desk, give us a call at 800-349-3839 or email info at upliftdesk.com or chat with us at upliftdesk.com.